Mark, you're mute. Hey, Krishna. Pratamati Sakurdatam Mukti Dham Pradi Nandya Paramamrita Nidhikam Shivam Shivam Madhuram Madhuram Etan Mangalam Mangalam So you are discussing Bhagavad Gita, <coughs> chapter 4, verse 10. Gita Raghavaya Krodha Manmaya Mamupashtita Bhavu Gyada Prasa Gita Madhbhagam Avata Gita Raga attachment. Oh, and so here Bhagavan is telling us that what we should give up. We should give up attachments. There are different attachments. That is very nice. And basically, best thing is to become attached to Krishna. If you can become attached to Krishna, you automatically will be detached from the body. Fear. So they say that don't fear Krishna is here. So sometimes you are afraid. Why the fear comes? Why am I fearing you? Isha, the paper can be very useful. But my art of Buddha is that they can show you the way back. So fear comes because you forget Bhagavan. When you forget Bhagavan, fear comes. Remember Bhagavan, who Dandu Maharaj was telling us today, just as Smarana Matra, Janma Samsara Bandana, Vichate Master Sai, Vishnade Prabhu Vishnu. By simply remembering Vishnu, one becomes free from material existence. Krodha and anger, one becomes free from anger also. Krodha, Trividam Narakasya Vidam Dwaram Nashanam Atmana Kam Krodha Daluba Tasmade Trentajit. That we get to the hell or the lust, greed, and anger. So we should not be angry. Man Maya, fully in me, mom in me, upashita, the insecurity. Bhava, many, jnana, knowledge, tapasa, by penance, putaha, being purified. Mad bhavam, transcendent love for me, agata, attain. Being freed from attachment, fear and anger, being fully absorbed in me. And taking refuge in me, many many persons in the past became purified by knowledge of me, and thus they all attained transcendent love for me. As described above, it is very difficult for a person who is too materially affected to understand the personal nature of the supreme absolute truth. Generally, people who are attached to the bodily consumption of life are so absorbed in materialism. It is almost impossible for them to understand that there is a transcendent body which is imperishable, full of knowledge and eternally blissful. So people don't know anything about material body and they are trying to cater to this material body. Somehow or the other they are trying to keep this material body happy. Uh, they don't know that there is spiritual body at all. But in... Uh, Shastra, we know that there is a spiritual body also, which is suitable for rendering service to Bhagavan. So, there was actually a nice story I was hearing. Um, there was actually one very rich person. He was very rich. But he was very miser also. So, he didn't want to spend any money. So, he went to Gurudev. So, Gurudev, I want to do devotional service, but I don't want to spend money. Is there any process by which 
I can render service and doesn't cost any money. Then, Guruji uh, said, "Yes, there is a process. You chant the Hare Krishna mantra; it doesn't cost any money. And then you render service to Bhagwan by your mind, Mansi Seva. So, how you should make Mansi Seva? You should cook very nice delicacies for Bhagwan." Uh, in your mind, you bring very nice milk, you boil it, then put, um, uh, you know, hand. Hand is like not sugar, but it's a very nice form of rock candy. And so put some powder rock candy, hand is it, inside the milk. And then offer it to the heart. So one day, why did he drop milk from a very nice cow? And uh, in mind, he was boiling the milk. Then he said, Let me sweeten the milk by adding some hand, powdered candy, powdered rock candy. And uh, but he, instead of putting one spoon, he put like accidentally two, three spoons. And he said, Oh, I am wasting so much uh, hand. So he started to using his spoon, he began to take it back. He said, why should I give extra? And this, now, now everything is going on in the mind. He's not literally giving that uh, rock candy. But he's actually taking it back. The Lord caught his hand. He said, what is this? You are not going to waste any money if you are offering anything in, in the mind. It's only a trick. Why are you taking it back? And Lord gave him that step. <laughs> so the point I'm making is that you are so miser. So if, anyways, if you have no money, you can do Mansi Seva. Mansi Seva means in mind you bring nice flowers, you make nice garlands, and you make a nice full bangla, a decoration for Tatuji. Um, like today there was a deity installation, Shripad Bhakti Randa Dandi Maharaj is the deity installation. Later on, Shripad Bhakti Randa Madhav Maharaj, he did the RP and, uh, uh, and he gave a class. And Shripad Dandi Maharaj spoke, then I also spoke. So, uh, deity is. Uh, very important. Mm -hmm. Shibad Madhavar was telling that Vigraha. Vigraha means one who accepts the service. Uh, one who accepts the service. That's called Vigraha. So Madhavar was telling that. Uh, and he told a story of how there was one Brahmana, old Brahmana. But old Brahmana and young Brahmana went on a pilgrimage to Vrindavan. Old Brahmana was very satisfied with the young Brahmana for his service he rendered. And he said, I will give my daughter to you in marriage. He promised in front of Lord Krishna. But later on, he went back on promise with the family pressure. So Lord Krishna came personally from Vrindavan along with the young Brahmana to give witness that, yes, he had indeed promised his daughter to this young Brahman. So Shripad Mahadamaraj was making a point that deity is not a stone. He is a person. Then Shripad Dandi Maharaj also told a story that how um, for Madhavendra Puripad, Shri Khir Chora Gopinath, he stole the Khir, he stole the sweet rice. And um, then Khir Chora Gopinath also accepted the sandalwood pulp. The sandalwood to be taken to Govardhan, to offer to Govardhan, Nashi Nati. But um, Shri um, Khir Chora Gopinath told that. I am not different from your Srinathji. Please offer that sandalwood for to me. And I will personally, I will, everyone will be satisfied. All my manifestations will be satisfied. He is and all the but they are not different so so Jackie 
that is also not possible. So what can be done is um, to offer him some nice pitcher and some water, cooling water, hmm, that person can drink. He'll be satisfied. So if I tell someone says, show me God, I tell him you have to go to Vaikuntha or Golak Vrindavan or Satyam Thar, where he resides, or in Dwarka where Dwarka Bish resides, then that person will be very disappointed because no one can cross the Viraja river and go to Golak Vrindavan to see Krishna. Then I'll tell, okay, <clears throat> why don't you see, try to see Paramatma in your heart? But seeing Paramatma is also very difficult. Very, very difficult to see Paramatma. So then what I will say is, okay, you see the deity in the temple. Oh, now I can do. I can make some kachoris, puris. Huh? So today we had prasadam, uh, very nice prasadam, because uh, Maharaj told that bring mustard seed oil from the Vrindavan. So that mustard seed oil was actually very pure, not in the adulteration. And those who were made, that were also in the, in the, in the, in the Jagan. Hmm? So it was nice prasadam. So obviously prasadam is always nice, but it was especially nice. So you can offer, we can offer those things. It will not be possible possible for us to go to Vaikuntha to take our puris and sabji and make it offering in Vaikuntha. Paramatma also very difficult to deal with Paramatma. But deity, yes, you can see that deity is especially there, as you got Madhav Maharaj told that, deity is especially there to accept our seva. The job of the deity is accept our offerings. Anyone can bring as much offering as you like. You can bring fruit, sweets, especially cooked with love and affection, chapatis, rice, bread, whatever you like. Uh, <clears throat> pizza, pasta, lasagna, whatever it is. So many preparations you can offer them <clears throat> and Lord will honor them. Especially if they're cooked with healthy ingredients, Lord will even relish them. Because... Uh, it is always good to offer the purest of the things, best of the things, healthiest of the things to Bhagavan. Hmm? So, now people are very attached to the body. So, to remove their bodily conception, they are taught to worship the deity. Because when they worship the deity, they realize that there is a different enjoyer. Roktaram, Nagatapasam, Sarva Loka Maheshwaram, Surudam, Sarva Bhutanam, Gyatvamam, Shantim, Ruchyati. That I am the enjoyer. Keep me in the center. You like any foodstuffs? Yes. You can offer the, those foodstuffs to me. And I will sanctify them. I will purify them. I will make it prasad and give it to you. You don't have to forsake the enjoyment. But keep me in the center. Do it for my enjoyment. Mat karma prut, mat parma, mat bhakta, sangha varjita. Nirvaira sarabhuteshu yasa mahalini pamu. Like when police officer came, the police officer came, came to Lakhna, then uh, on Mr. Agnotri came, the police officer in uh, So then she called Madhmar and started to do it. And he said that I always remember this verse that Mat Karma Kurut, Mat Parma, Mat Karma, Hirveda, Sintishu, yes, Mara. She told Mr. Mara, I want to be non inimical anywhere. Not And she passed her it and two days she was suffering. And uh, I told her to utter Krishna Radhana Guru because she was having great trouble in uttering the name of Bhagavan because the pain is so excruciating at the time of the So except that his body is um, it is full of ignorance. We can ask someone a question, especially in the mobile phone usage. That, um, what did you eat yesterday? I will be having a hard time actually to remember what sabji I ate the day before yesterday. 
yesterday i may remember with little effort but day before yesterday forget about it i have absolutely no remembrance what i ate two days ago or three days ago oh. obviously i will remember something exceptionally good i ate but that is difficult but exactly what day i ate it is very difficult to remember so that no when we see we forget our own weight and completely miserable the body is completely miserable there is no joy in this whatever joy it may seem in this material world is also a type of misery Uh, therefore, people in general keep the same body idea in mind when they are upon a personal form of God. So they think that God's body is also like that. It is also full of misery, ignorance. Uh, but no, Ishara Parama Krishna Sachid Anand Vidraha Adi Adi Bhumda Sabakar Nakar. Krishna is the cause of all causes. He is full of knowledge, bliss, and eternity. Therefore, people in general keep the same idea, bodily idea in mind when they are in front of the personal form of God. Personal form is he has, he is a God made man of his own image. What is the personal form? Lord Brahma is telling, Venu Kodanta Varivinda Dalayata. Varha Bhattamsa Vasitaki Lakshmanta. अंदर को कोटि का मन में विशेष रूप से वो लोग गोविंद महादेव के चंद का मानते हैं और एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ इज मोर ब्यूटीफुल देन बिलियंस ऑफ सीक्रेट्स असिताम मूर असिताम मूर मींस इज बॉडी लाइक ब्लैक रोल्स लाइक लाइक टुडे माधव आर वाज टेलिंग दैट यू नो व्हाई द डीटी ऑल डीटी इन द वर्ल्ड आर स्टैंडिंग एक्सेप्ट फॉर वन पर्टिकुलर डीटी टू द गोपीनाथ व्हिच इज सिटिंग गौड़ी This name is this Thakur is 125 year old, but the temple was dilapidated and unfortunate incident and the roof broke and one brick fell on Shiva Tirada and Shiva Tirada and the deity was broken. So Krishna was alone and uh, not being worshipped for a long time. Then they renovated the temple, completely demolished the temple, and then made a new temple. So. <clears throat> the deity was standing. Mahaprabhu was also standing all the time. So that is always there. That is the is there to accept. So, Bhagwan's form is Sachidananda, and our form is not Sachidananda. But actually, we are also eternal. We are eternal. And render service to him. We will have the same nature as Baba. Obviously, we will not have the. Uh, we will have qualitative oneness, not quantitative oneness. Quantitative oneness is Baba is not possible. Means it will not be possible for us to become as powerful as Baba. But we will have the same qualities of Baba. Example is given that iron is kept in fire. When you keep the iron in fire, so after some time, iron becomes fiery. So, like that, when we continuously make it on Bhagwan, we acquire the qualities like Bhagwan. On the side, but we don't become Bhagwan, and because they are too materially absorbed, the conception of retaining the personality after liberation from that patterns there. So they attribute uh, distress to the material body. The materialistic person say that body means misery. So they say that no misery means no body. If we can get rid of this body, then we'll have no misery. Because they know that if we eyes, then there will be eye problem, cataract, glaucoma, and uh, also night blindness. And if they have nose, then they may have nose blockage and whatnot. And if they have ear ears, then they will have earache. 
if they have stomach they'll have stomach ache if they have legs they have uh, leg pain joint pain arthritis rheumatoid arthritis uh, so like that so people know that having a body means pain so they say that if we give up this body if we completely get rid of our body then we'll be liberated and we'll have no pain but they are not aware of another type of body which never has any pain and that is the Sachidananda body and that is spiritual body that spiritual body has no pain no misery that spiritual world where you get a spiritual body. In order to enter that spiritual body, you need to get a spiritual body. And it will be free from four defects. Janma Murti Jarajari, Dukha Dushara Darshan. So certainly see the defects in the material body. But this is older than death. But there also exists a state where you don't have such a um, defective body. But you have a completely transcendental body which is free from these four defects of birth, this is old world. Generally they compare the living entities to the bubbles of the ocean, which merge into the ocean. That is the highest perfection of a spiritual existence at the level without individual personality. This is the kind of fearful stage of life devoid of perfect knowledge of spiritual existence. So people they think that to merge like I am one glass of water and you throw one glass of water into the ocean, then that water has merged in the ocean and now the, the water, one glass of water has no existence of its own. Now it has completely merged in the ocean and we have lost the reality. And that is, they, they think that that is the perfect knowledge of spiritual existence. But we don't want that type of liberation. We want the liberation type of the fish. We don't want the liberation of water merging into water. For example, fish is living in the water. And have you seen any fish becoming water? Even if there is a high tide, low tide, even if there is a cyclone, no fish will die. Because the fish has taken the shelter of water. Mm. So furthermore, there are many persons who cannot understand spiritual existence. So I. Another example is given that um, someone is sold. I will give one vessel, and in that vessel has 1000 holes. And you bring the water in that vessel, uh, fetch the water from Jamuna, and bring it to me. So, who can bring the water in a vessel which has 1000 holes? It's not possible to retain water in the vessel which has 1000 holes. But there is one way you can retain the water in that vessel that you offer that vessel right in the Jamuna. If you sink that vessel in the Jamuna, whether it has 1000 holes or 10,000 holes, it will always be full of Jamuna water. So if you have many, many defects, then what we have to do is simply we have to be always absorbed in Aritatha association. So there will be no time for leakage. Fully remain absorbed in Aritatha. Some people are too materially attached and therefore do not give attention to spiritual life. Some of them want to merge into the supreme spiritual. There are some people who are particular. They say money, money, sitter, and any bright of They are only attached to the material body, material wealth, beautiful wife. Children, progeny, but they have no time for spiritual life because they think that we waste of time to engage in spiritual pursuit. But they may have a very beautiful wife, but you will see that that wife will become old one day, and uh, certainly the old age will come. You may have a lot of wealth, rich person, pocket uh, fillers, and all, but still. Some one, one will become poor one day. Mm. Wealth is also not permanent. Mm. And there are some persons, they are interested in spiritual life, but they think that they want to merge in the spiritual cause. Mm. So they want to merge in the Brahma. Mm. But that is annihilation. 
So some of them disbelieve in everything, being angry at all sorts of spiritual speculation out of hopelessness. So some people become so hopeless that they cannot find the ultimate aim and object of life. So finally they say there is no God. You know, and they say this is all imagination and they become agnostic you know, out of hopelessness. I have seen a lot of people that uh, very angry. Show me God. Uh, Recently, there was an accident near Baleshwar, where the Thirujana Gopina temple, not far from there. So three trains in India, that one of the biggest uh, disasters in the train history. Howda Express from Howda to Bangalore, Koromandal Express also, and one goods train. Take, um, somewhere to the freak accident, due to some failure. They are investigating why the accident took place. And Prime Minister Modi also went to the site. And a lot of local people, they carried on the rescue work. We pray for the souls of departed persons. And also we pray for the swift recovery of the injured persons. And may Lord bless them. It was really heartbreaking to see this. So, but this material world is, uh, that is the Krishna has told Bhagavad Gita, the Dukkhala Ashashwata. This material world is actually Dukkhala. Dukkhala means it is a abode of misery. And the Howrah Express from Bangalore was running one and a half hours late. Had it been running on time, it could have accepted the accident. But um, little did people who are sitting in those trains knew that death is approaching them. So that's why we have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. That Shripa Dandi Maharaj always tells us that carry cow dung with you. Mm -hmm. Carry cow dung patties with you. Mm -hmm. Because um, that will save you from accident. And that is true. Mm -hmm. That is true. Because uh, the cow dung has unlimited potency. And cow is actually um, very dear to Sri Krishna. Like today, uh, Tandi Maharaj also was telling, and Madhav Maharaj also agreed with him, that um, once um, Indra he showered torrential rain on Braj, and that time, um, after this torrential rain, which was showered on Braj, Indra realized that he cannot really harm the Brajavasi because Krishna lifted the Giraj over them. So later on, he went to ask forgiveness to Krishna, but he went um, keeping Surabhi cow, the celestial cow, which lives there's a special planet near heavenly planet called Surabhi, uh, Surabhi Loka. Not, not, not the Surabhis in Golapurandam, but these are heavenly Surabhi cows. And the mother of all these cows, Surabhi, was taken by Indra, and under her guidance, he approached Krishna for forgiveness. Looking at the mother cow, Surabhi, Krishna was pacified, and he forgave Indra. So, both Maharajas told that um, actually it is impossible that Indra would have been forgiven. Only because he took shelter of the mother cow, uh, Indra was forgiven. So, we also have to take shelter of mother cow. We should also always pray to Krishna, keep our cow products. Uh, somehow, I was trying to make an anti relation chip. Someone told me that uh, now Shripa Dandi Maharaj makes anti relation chip by using the cow vasma and the Agnihotra ashes and using copper foil. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was trying with the cow dung and then I dip some thick cloth in it. And giving the cutting that grind that cloth and giving peace to the people. Anyway, I have some of that cloth and I kept it under me as a pillow before going to sleep. And really speaking, I'm having very peaceful sleep. Shiva Dandimara says that if you keep cow dung under with your head, uh, cow dung, dry cow dung, obviously not the wet one. Wet one would be too sleepy. Dry cow dung uh, under your pillow or something will have very peaceful sleep. And I'm experiencing the power of it actually. It's amazing. Uh, it's amazing so much um, power the cow dung has. So, um, actually, Shidajindras Maharaj says that Bhagwan is two Bhagwan's manifestations. That one Bhagwan is in the temple, and that Bhagwan doesn't move. Uh, the deity is always there. Uh, doesn't, but there is another Bhagwan that is cow. Cow in India go door to door asking for some chapatis. And if you feed the cow, it is as good as feeding Bhagwan. Because Bhagwan is uh, present in the heart of the cow, and cow is very dear to Bhagwan. So when we 
lot of people they will a big struggle for becoming a pujari and there is always a competition to become a pujari they consider it to be prestigious seva but hardly anyone will volunteer or venture to do go seva like feeding the cows like shripa dandi maharaj does because they think that that service to the cow is you know far or below their level of advancement but that is not the case you can see in the life of shila bhakti vigyan bharati goshai maharaj that when no one was um, coming forward to render service to the cow shripa bhakti vigyan bharati maharaj he was a brahmachari that time narottaman the brahmachari he happily render service to the cows and uh, even many maharajas were satisfied with him his own gurudev was satisfied with him because he was rendering profuse service to the cow so one has to get rid of all three stages of attachment to the material world negligence of spiritual life so don't neglect spiritual life even if uh, like shri gurudev was telling i saw your post your facebook post that the gurudev's quotation that um, i will chant when i get spare time that is not a good attitude rather i will make time to chant hari naam so anirudh prabhu ji's book um, gives one sanskrit quotation um, in sanskrit quotation says that um, uh, shatam vihay bhoktavya give up 100 duties at your hand and eat something if you are hungry eat something shatam vihay bhoktavya sahastram snanam giving up 100 duties 1000 duties take a bath if you are not taken bath better to take bath and give up 1000 duties laksham vihay bhaktavya giving up 100000 duties you charity to a qualified recipient if he has come at your door to beg then you should ask give charity to a qualified recipient and laksham vihay bhaktavya uh kutim taktva to haram lage but give up uh, 10 million duties and worship hari if you are not worship you have not chanted your rounds right? try to chant hari na kutim taktva to harim bhaje so it is top most priority mm. the gurudev says that it may possible that someone is uh, kind of um, uh, it is possible that it churn the um, water and butter will come out of it when the butter comes out and churn the yogurt but it is possible that you churn the water and butter will come out it is also possible that you pound Uh, sand and oil will come out. Generally, only when you crush mustard seeds or sesame seeds, groundnut seeds, then oil will come out. It is not possible that if you crush sand, uh, then oil will come out. But it, it may be possible that you crush the sand uh, in a oil oil machine and then oil may come out. But is not even rabbit may have horns. Rabbit rabbit never has horns. it is possible that some species of rabbit may have horns it may be possible that a horse may have horns horse may have horns it is possible but it is not possible that one will never cross the ocean of birth and death uh, without crossing the lotus feet of sri krishna so it is very very important that some of other worship the lotus feet of sri krishna You should never and never give up the worship of Sri Krishna. The loss of life is neglect spiritual. Fear of and the perception of void. So many people are unaware of their personal identity, or they are afraid. Like what will be my position? Uh, what will happen after happen after my death? But don't be afraid of your spiritual person identity. Mm. That uh, at least you should understand that I am Das Dasoswi. Mm. I am servant of Krishna. At least if you accept even the bottom line mm, that I am the servant of Sri Krishna, you are on a safe footing. Mm. Even if you don't know that I am Devi and Jyoti and other parts of this that you know. Um, hello, Mr. Shiva. Shiva, 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 Shiva. You don't know any melodies. If you simply accept that, that's why I'm Kausha Indra. 
I am a servant of Ram Chandra. I am servant of Sri Krishna Chandra. I am servant of Radharani. I am servant of Narayan. I am a servant. We are servant, I don't mind, but I am the servant of someone. I am the servant of Radharani. That is also very, very high mood. At least I am servant of Krishna. That is fine. So we could accept that I am Krishna. So our spiritual identity is taken care. And the conception of void that underlies the frustration of love. A lot of people they think that form is leading to frustration. The form is leading to distress. Form is leading to misery. So let us get rid of the form itself. Let us merge in the void. That is what the Buddhists do. They merge in the shunyavad, void, zero. Where are you? Where are you come from? Zero. Where will you go into zero? What is this material world? Zero. What is God? Zero. Everything is zero for them. Mm. Everything is void, nothingness. Mm. So they think that nothing is the source of everything, and uh, finally everything will merge in nothing. So mm, this is their Buddha uh, The so Shankaracharya kind of uh, protested against this Buddhist philosophy, and it was even uh, other scholars also. Uh, they were they effectively kicked out the Buddhist philosophy from India. Void is it? Mm. So to get uh, Kumaril Bhatta was also a great scholar. He personally drove away Buddhism from India, and for that he actually atoned for that sin because he kind of disobeyed his Buddhist teacher. So he learned Buddhism from a teacher, and then he kind of disobeyed his Buddhist teacher. And cut to pieces the Buddhist philosophy. So finally, he immolated himself in a huge pile of um, rice husk, which burns very slowly at very high temperature. Like where our temple opened near Lucknow, that area is full of jewelry shops. There are so many jewelers there gold, silver, diamonds, precious stones. Um, all the Mataji will really like that land. They will be really, their eyes will be. Really satisfied because there's so many jewelry shops there. And really, no vehicle will go there. You cannot go there by any four wheeler. Forget about four wheeler. No three wheeler will go there. Only vehicle that will go there is two wheeler and two legs. And imagine Amit Krishna Prabhu actually supervised the temple, construction of the temple. All the goods, all the bricks, all the um, construction material had to be taken on the back of the Mules. Mule is a cross between horse and donkey. Uh, Means it has the uh, swift speed of horse and uh, also the steadfast uh, working ability like a donkey. Mm -hmm. So, guided by the bona fide spiritual master and follow the disciplines and regulatory principles of religion. To get free from these three stages of the material concept of life, one has to take complete shelter of the Lord. What is the complete shelter of the Lord? Life division. Mm. That mm, division, when he was kicked six times, he was kicked six times um, on his chest by Ravana. He told, uh, division told Ravana that, please return Sita. And Ravan kicked him six times. Uh, some explanation was given by Ram Badra Chacha. He says, Bhagavan has six opulences, so maybe he kicked six times. Whatever is, I couldn't understand what explanation by Ram Badra Chacha was giving. Uh, but there must be some reason. But anyways, Vibhishan told Ravan that, I had requested you to return Sita. He said, he kicked me. I'm your younger brother. So I am going to the lotus feet of Ram Chacha. I am giving you up your shelter and going to the shelter of Ram Chandra. So when Vibhishan came across the ocean and came to Ram Chandra's camp, that time all the monkeys were scared. They said that the brother of this ten-headed demon has come to see us. Maybe he has come to find out our secrets, or maybe he has come he has come with a secret plan to kill all of us. So we should catch him. And we should punish him. And Ram Chandra said that don't be afraid of monkeys. Don't be scared of division. 
all the demons which are exist in this material world with one single arrow lakshman can kill all of them lakshman can kill all of them don't worry and sadar uh, if any living entity surrenders to me then it is my vow that i will give shelter to someone told ram that you have uh, suppose division has come you can give him shelter so uh, ram said yes that is my vow i will give shelter so division came and ram immediately anointed his forehead with a tilak that you are the next king of lanka very soon ram ravan will be history and you will be anointed as the next king of lanka so he anointed him with a tilak so then someone told ram that if tomorrow ravan will come to you and surrender to you what will you do what kingdom will you give to ravan then if ram said that if he comes to me surrenders to me and returns sita to me i will give ravan the kingdom of ayodhya so generous was ram hmm. if he surrenders to me i will give him the kingdom of ayodhya ram said that so anyways uh, if we surrender to bhagwan bhagwan is certainly going to give us shelter hmm. so that is bhagwan's vrata or vow that i will never reject a person who surrender to me so we should take shelter bajapure mana shri nanda nandana abhay charanar vindare take shelter at the person of lotus feet of that supreme personality of god who is fit to absolute fearlessness now how many misery are there shita atap bata balishana edin jamini jagure atap atap me hot you come to lucknow if you have gone to lagila gauri amma you realize it is so hot out there huh? because um, it's a cement concrete jungle out there huh? and not many trees oh. right now i'm sitting in the basement of amit krishna prabhu's house it is minus 10 degrees means 10 degrees lower than the outside temperature the basement is always cooler huh? this is the advantage of the basement with the fan and not at all feeling it is very hot outside but upstairs first floor second floors become very hot in mathura and also in entire land but this is everywhere not just for our lucknow temple only entire india is also heat in here right up to maharashtra where i am staying in short term so the point i am trying to make is that um, this material world is a miserable place and we should be guided by the bona fides within us yashya deve para bhakti yatha deve tatha guru tasya te katitai artha prakashan kuru have Same amount of faith as you have in Bajaj. Maybe little more faith in Guru Dev than in Bajaj. And yesterday I was on the temple of the newly built temple of Ladli Lal Temple. Shita Dendi Maharaj was inspecting the roof. So he saw five, six domes there total. And he said, the top dome I have a big chakra. I will send that across, and we can put that chakra of the Lord on the top. So, um, so I will. Put that chakra. He said. So, uh, so um, chakra Maharaj was telling will uh, so guided by the bona fides within us. So we should take shelter at the lotus feet of such a spiritual master. And more faith we should have in more faith we should have in Guru because Guru Dev is especially come for us. But suddenly we should have faith in Guru and Bhagwan both. But without faith in Guru, one will not be able to perform devotional service to Bhagwan uh, and follow the disciplines and regular the principles of devotional service. So after you are initiated, you promise that I will not um, eat meat, meat. I will not eat meat, gambling, intoxication, and illicit sex. So we should uh, tell that. Um, i will bid goodbye to all the pillars of uh, sinful life the last stage of the devotional life is called bhava or transcendental love of god so now we'll see that bhava is very high stage 
someone like Shila Gauru Maharaj, he would do uh, it. A sadhaka, he will reach this stage of bhava. And according to Bhakti Rasamrata Sindhu, the science of devotion studies. So actually, we are studying particular book. Uh, uh, we are actually studying this Bhakti Rasamrata Sindhu. In the book, we see that there are different levels of spiritual advancement. Obviously, these different stages are not needed for a person who is free from offenses. If you are not committing offenses, there are only two stages. You chant the holy name and you go to Vaikul. But because we have different levels of unwanted habits, uh, as a result, we have to pass through many, many stages, like from the stage Sabri Sangha, associating with the devotees, then Janakriya, beginning the devotional service, then Anathas start to finish. When we develop so far of it, Nishtha, then we develop Ruchi, Asakti, Bhav, then Pratim. So Sadhana goes through these different stages. In the beginning, one must have a preliminary desire for self realization this will bring one to the stage of trying to associate with persons who are spiritually as well. Like hippies, like for example, Shamrani Didi. She actually had given money, if you read her biography, I don't remember very well, but she had given money to a vendor who was going to give her some dope, dope means some intoxication. And that person cheated her. He took the money and vanished, he didn't give her dope, whatever she needed. So she saw in Tompkins Square Park when Sadhu was singing, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadar Shiva Sadhika Ora Bhakta Brinda, Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. What did she know that this sadhu has come from Golok? And his Radharani's best servant. Radharani has sent him. What does she know? But she saw in the middle of nowhere in Tompkins Square Park, in lower Manhattan. So many hippies were there, drug addicts. And she went to him. She heard the kirtan. She clapped. She danced. She sang. Then she also... Sometimes cut his hair, sometimes sat with him and learned uh, how to paint. She was also an art school graduate, so he gave her ideas that Krishna should be blue. Narayan should have four arms, Shanka Chakra Gada Padma. Prahlad Mara should look like this, Narsinga should look like that. And she used to paint. Then he used to call those paintings the windows to the spiritual world. People cannot go to the spiritual world, but. Um, but actually, they can see the spiritual world through these paintings. So, this is the thing. Um, when we look at these paintings, we can have a glimpse of the spiritual world. Uh, now, I have before me painting the Vichitra Vidhi. Vichitra is not expert as painter like uh, uh, Samarana Vidhi, but Vichitra Vidhi likes to paint. Bakula Didi also likes to paint. She is also a very good painter, German devotee. So those paintings, actually, when you look at them, you forget the material world and you start seeing the spiritual reality through those paintings. So this is very important. So these hip, these hippie people, because of some sukruti they had from past life, uh, they developed sadha for saintly persons like Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj. Mm. Uh, in the next stage, one becomes initiated by an elevated spiritual master. So, he, this is Diksha. Divyam Jnanam Yato Dadyat Puryat Papas Sankshanam Tasma Diksha Kisa Prokta Dishikasta Tutta Means they receive the transcendent knowledge uh, and sins are eradicated. They come in Madhya Pratika by receiving mantras. Very high class mantras they receive Hare Krishna mantra, even Gopal mantra, Kam Gayatri. These mantras are very, very powerful. Uh, 
am recently translating one books about gayatri mantra in bengali and um, because uh, very difficult bengali so sometimes i use some translation like google translate help i can i take help of one artificial intelligence program called chat gpt uh, which is uh, available for free also so it does some fairly good translation obviously it is not perfect uh, but i can manually bring it to correctness but it gives me some starting point otherwise if i have to translate from scratch it will take me long time so it helps me um so this powerful mantras like diksha mantras uh, they are for our spiritual progress so under the instruction the neophyte devotee begins the process of devotion so neophyte devotee what does neophyte devotee means the neophyte devotee is one who is अर्चे विष्णु वंदे अर्चाया में वह रे जना शब्दे हैं तो न तो भक्त से चालने से जना प्राप्त होता है और न्योपा डिवोटी इस वन डिवोटी हूँ इस एक्चुअली ओनली वर्शिप्स द डीटी ऑफ़ द लॉर्ड बट देन गिव्स समथिंग इम्पोर्टेंस टू डिवोटी ऑफ़ द लॉर्ड बट वी शुड डील प्रॉपर्ली विद For example, when our Gurudev was on the planet, Shita Dandi Maharaj also on there, the Gurudev also was there, and other Sannyas also were there, other God sisters, God brothers also were there. It was my duty to respect everyone, whether it is Shita Dandi Maharaj or Ramchandra Prabhu or Shita Maharaj or anyone. I must respect them, but I will not respect them as much as I respect my Gurudev. Understand? I will respect them, but I will respect them the most to my Diksha Guru. Understand? And then others, my God brothers, God sisters, I will respect them as per their advancement. Understand? But certainly, even if someone is not initiated, uh, you have to respect that person. You cannot disrespect that person. This is the end. Suppose some. Suppose you have any god brother or god sister, uh, aspiring god brother and god sister. That person said, okay, I will take Diksha from Shipa Dandi Maharaj. But has not been able to take Diksha yet. Um, but sincerely listens to lectures, chant Hare Krishna and some or other so trying to understand Krishna consciousness philosophy. And doing some seva here and there. So that person should also be respected. Because that person has some attachment for Krishna. So, even if someone is not initiated, don't disrespect them, respect them. It is very, very important for our spiritual life, Srila Gurudev Sutta. But don't treat everyone equally, understand? You should give, there should be gradation in how much respect you should give. There should be a gradation. The topmost respect you should give to your initiating spiritual master. And then other sannyasis, you should also give respect. For example, your Diksha Guru will say, Om Vishnupad, Paramahansa Paribrajaka Acharya Varyad. Other Sannyasi will say, uh, His Holiness, Shiship, Shishipad, this Maharaj, uh, like this. His Holiness, or Shripad, uh, like this, you can say, huh? so you know how. Um, so this is the Vaishnava huh? You should try to learn how to respect. Huh? But suppose some Sannyasi is very advanced. Hmm? Uh, even more advanced than your Diksha Guru, more advanced than your Diksha Guru, then what is your duty? Like that time, uh, your duty is to take permission from your Diksha Guru and seek the association of that service. I'll give an example. In Canada, there was one Maharaj, Dutidhar Maharaj, Shripa Dutidhar Maharaj, and uh, he had some disciples. Canadian Sanyas, he was, and uh, when he learned about our Guru Dev, he quickly told his disciples that a uh, very elevated sannyas is coming from India. Let's go and see him. And let us hear his Haripata. 
So these disciples came to Gurudev and they told, please give us initiation. But Gurudev said, no. Because Dhritidhar Maharaj is very honest sannyasi and he recognized me. He accepts me as Shiksha Guru. Although he's a disciple of Swami Maharaj, he accepts me as Shiksha Guru. I order you that I will explain to you the meanings of all the mantras, Diksha mantras, but you will be still his disciples. Means because he is very honest and he is uh, completely accepting me as Shiksha Guru, I order you to serve him as my representative. And uh, you should not think of uh, changing the Guru. Uh, you have to change the Guru only if your Guru is opposed to a Mahabhagwa. If he is honoring Mahabhagwats and he is telling you, Hey, are you going to hear Harikata of some Mahabhagwat? Like Shukde Goswami or Suta Goswami or Shri Rai Ramananda or Sarup Dhamod or Rupa Goswami, then please go and I'll also come with you. Let's both hear Harikatha of that elevator Vaishnava. Then don't reject that Guru. Then you should serve that Guru because he is not envious. He is not envious of pure devotees. Then you should serve that Guru diligently because he is not envious. Like Bhagavatam says, Nirmat Saranam Satam. The Bhagavad philosophy is for those who are not envious. If your Guru is not envious of Mahabhagavats, uh, Srila Gurudev used to tell that, uh, like Dhritidhar Maharaj, uh, he was completely non envious. So Gurudev told, Yes, you can retain your disciples. No harm. Keep them. And just listen to my Harikatha. And don't forbid your disciples from hearing my Harikatha. Hmm. Suppose you have some disciples. And you come to know that very high class Vaishnava is coming. Oh, immediately you should give them permission to go and hear from that Vaishnava. Uh, that will, you know, like many sannyasis also were not in India. So they were always giving permission to their disciples go and hear Harikatha from Gurudev. And Gurudev appreciated that, that spirit. So this taste leads one further forward to the Attachment for the past, which is matured in bhava. So bhava is the matured stage of Krishna consciousness or the preliminary stage of transcendental love of God. Obviously, love of God is very difficult to... Um, we cannot um, maintain our body with the love of God. Love is a very high position. So we can reach up to the stage of bhava. Very rare is the person who reaches bhava. So the Guru told that, very, very rare to reach the stage of Bhava. In the Prema stage, there is constant engagement in transcendental loving service of the Lord. So by the slow process of devotional service under the guidance of the bona fide spiritual master, one can maintain the highest stage being freed from all material attachment, from fearfulness of one's individual spiritual clarity and from the frustrations Resulting from bright philosophy, and then one can ultimately attain the abode of the Supreme Lord. There's a great purport actually. I took extra long time to explain this. Vita Raga Bhaya Troda Man Maya Man Upashita Bhagavad Gyan Dapasa Pita Mad Bhagavata. So, um, Siddha Gurudev also can come into the song, and it will take us a more time. So, what I'll do is I'll quickly cover one verse of Siddha Bhagavatam. Uh, because um, tomorrow again I may be going to Ayodhya. Some person, Ayodhya, uh, some disciples of Shripad Madhavaraj have come, and also Shripad Dandi Maharaj also uh, permitted me to go to Ayodhya. I have not gone to Ayodhya since uh, the Supreme Court verdict, which allowed the temple to happen on that disputed site. So, so tomorrow I will try to go to Ayodhya. And uh, I may come by 4 o'clock, they say I like that. So, see, 6 o'clock is the class. Tomorrow is Monday. So, Monday is uh, we have Madhuri I will see tomorrow. Then, because future days I will be traveling. Let me see tomorrow. I will keep you in the loop. So, let's quickly turn to the Saru Mark uh, Bhagavad Gita verse again. 4 10. But um, from Gurudev's commentary next time, huh? I explained Swami Maharaj's commentary to Guru in little detail. Huh? So I'll 4.10 again, I will say. Huh? 
नारायणं नमस्कृत्य नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदिरे नष्ट प्रायश अभद्रेशु भगवतीम श्लोके भक्ति स्थितिस्तमो भावलो भादे ये कलिकाल मनुष्य की बल बुद्धि का नाश करने वाला लाइक इन दिस कलियुगा द पीपल्स इंटेलिजेंस इज एक्चुअली Like we saw it in auto worship of Dandi Maharaj yesterday, and then uh, person next to Maharaj was chewing gutka. Gutka is a tobacco preparation. So Maharaj told him that this is was well, a Muslim person, Muhammad is named God. So Maharaj told him that this is destroying your heart. Maharaj told in Hindi that you burning your heart. Do you know that? Obviously, Maharaj from South India, so in Hindi. Difficult to understand sometimes for these people. So I explained to him that this particular gutka preparation we are taking has some acid in it, chemicals. And I heard that they crush a lizard, which is found in Indian homes, and the juice of this lizard, home lizard, you know, domestic lizard, is also um, put in that for it because it is intoxicating. So anyway, it is leading to cancer. Right? And Maharaj was very much right, but he couldn't understand. Then the other Hindu person was there, and Maharaj also told him. He got down from the auto, and right on the seat, Maharaj showed him that how mobile radiation is harming him, and how the cow dung chip, a presence of even one gram of cow dung on his body, can counteract the radiation, and that is very wonderful. But people don't understand that um, this gutka or this intoxication or liquor, or tea, coffee, uh, or this refined oil is destroying them. People are so much addicted to them. This kalikal group, this side the samudra ko par par pana bada hi kathi hai. So this, especially in kali yoga, the anarthas people have unwanted habits they have. uh it is very difficult to cross them jis prakar samudra ko par karne ki ichchuk logo ko karna dhar ki avashyakta hoti hai usi prakar is kali kal rup samudra se par jane ki ichchuk hum logo ke liye karna dhar ke rup mein vidata nahi aapko milta hai if you want to cross the ocean then you need a good captain huh? like um, We we were studying English in eleven, twelve standard. I think we had English subject, and there was one poem, "Oh Captain, My Captain." It was called I don't know what is called in English, elegy or something. In something like some uh, some sorrowful ending, huh? "Oh Captain, My Captain." I remember that. So Guru Dev is the captain of our boat. हरि नाम नौका खानी गुरु कांडारी शंकर तन के रोयालामेम्बर इन मथुरा मठ सिल गुरुदेव गिविंग क्लास एंड टोल मी टू ट्रांसलेट अदर ट्रांसलेटर्स मे नॉट बी दे वॉज टेलिंग अवर्स गुरुदेह मध्यम सुलभम सुलभम Labam sukalpam guru karna dhara. That this human body is nothing but a boat to cross the ocean of birth and death. Uh, guru karna dhara. That verse says that Guru Dev is like a captain of the helmsman of the boat, captain of our boat. So favorable wind is blowing. Hare Krishna mantra kirtan is a favorable wind. Mahaprabhu has brought this boat. Mahaprabhu has mercifully, mercifully bestowed upon us this boat of human form of life. And uh, like last class, I told that cows are very, very important. Cows, cow dung is pure. The stool or dung of even a learned Brahmana is not considered pure. But still, cow is suffering from karma. 
Once I told Shuka Dandi Maharaj that cow killing is cow killing is increasing, cow killing is increasing. Then he told me one thing, and I really agreed with him. That he said that these cows who are taken for slaughter, he said actually their soul is taken away by Krishna before, and uh, some those who have killed cows in the past. Like Muslims, they sometimes butcher. So they are put in those bodies and they have to go to the slaughter. Something like he was telling. Means, and I agree actually, those who have killed the cows in past life, they will have to have the same experience. So despite receiving this human form of life, many people don't accept the spiritual master and don't worship Sri Krishna. Huh? If you don't accept the spiritual master and don't chant the names of Krishna, how will we cross this ocean of birth and death? So seeing Shaunak and 88,000 suggest suffering and having very serious questions about the goal of life and aim and object of life, um, then what Bhagavan is saying through the Gospel. Oh Lord, how will how will I cross this ocean of Who will deliver me? Literally, I was in America. I was in Canada. I should cry before the deep ocean of Sudar Shaun Maharaj. I should tell that you have disappeared from this world, and uh, you are an exalted spiritual master. But I did not receive your splendor. But uh, now, who will deliver me? Will you send someone like you to deliver me? I didn't even know what to ask you. But I was crying from four of my heart. Sang Maharaj. Then Srila Gurudev came. And when I looked at the picture of Gurudev, I realized this is the personality who can take me across the ocean of birth and death. I was very much clear. Because he spoke with authority. He never spoke that you should chant Hare Krishna. You should follow Ekadashi. You should uh, read Bhagavatam. No, he was not like that. His lecture said, don't engage in nonsense. Chant no less than one lakh. Don't talk when you chant. Read Bhagavatam every day. He was assertive. He was assertive and he was ordering. Literally, he was ordering. He had that authority. He was full of authority. Uh, he was, uh, because he himself practiced what he was preaching. Uh, was completely practicing what he's preaching. Mm. So he, when he spoke, it like Krishna spoke to us, an authority spoke to us. Understand? That's why it was such firm lectures, such strong lectures, such strong message. Uh, you know, when we heard it, it was very assuring that this personality can take us across. Mm. Then he used to tell us very clearly that I am not going to fall. I'm not going to fall down. I'm not going to get married. No woman can entice me. Never and never and never. Hmm. Because um, he was fixed in Krishna conception. So there was no question of fall down. Uh, he said, I can never and never fall down. He used to hide the identity. He said that I am Madhyam Adhikari. I'm not Uttam Adhikari. I'm just like you. But he was trying to hide his identity. But anyways, he always told us that I am not going to try it. If you have faith in me, uh, you can take initiation from me. I guarantee you, I will not fall down. Uh, so, <clears throat> it is important to take shelter of such a spiritual master like Sutta Goswami or Sula Guru Deva or like Shripa Dandi Maharaj. That they are infallible. It means they cannot be enticed by uh, any allurement, like Shripa Dandi Maharaj was telling that three allurements, today's class also was mentioning that Kanak, Kami and Tatishtha, the allurement of wealth and woman and these allurements also can be controlled that one may can give up association with opposite sex or regard every member of opposite sex as one's brother and sister and um, one can give up the uh, attachment for even wealth, but very difficult to give up the attachment for name, fame, adoration, and prestige. Uh, but like Gurudev, Shripad, Bhaktivedanta, Shila Bhaktivedanta, 
विक्रम गोसाई महाराज लाइक श्रीपाद अनिरुद्ध प्रभु जी श्रीपाद दंडी महाराज देर नेवर वॉन्ट टू बी फेमस देर ऑलवेज वेरी हम्बल दे आर कंप्लीटली नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस थ्री राइसेस distinct tigresses what are these tigresses attachment for wealth attachment for members of opposite sex and also attachment for uh, the name fame admiration and prestige so such guru krishna will arrange for us don't worry if you are sincere if you are sincere krishna will send you a teacher and if you are not sincere krishna will send you a cheater and they will cheat you they will cheat you and they will cheat you very badly they will take away all your wealth and try to exploit you also and youtube you can watch so many videos of exploitation like that disciples are getting left right and center they are exploited by their gurus for material things and so many things so such gurus are not really gurus they are actually gurus gurus of cows So, Bruhi Yoga, Shwari Krishna, Brahmane Dharma Varmani, Swam Kasta Maduno Pete Dharma Kasharanam Gata. This will be Shri Krishna, Kamach ke saman dharma ke rakshak. Brahmano ke palak aur yoga shwari dwara vandi the. What is Kamach? Now, Shauna Krishna is telling this to us. Usu ta gosla. that shri krishna is the protector of the religion like an armor for example when you are going to fight in the battlefield you wear an armor uh, generally an armor is made with some metal or armor is made with the back of uh, in india when they used to have a sword fight they used to make one shield that shield was made from the back of a tortoise tortoise um actually shell is so strong it can bear the impact of uh, even samurai sword hmm? so anyway krishna is the armor actually of the religion is the protector of religion he is brahmano ke palak now krishna really loves brahmana actually uh, we should never disrespect brahmana especially shri gurudev told us that always respect brahmana krishna is namo brahmanya deva He regards Brahmana as worshipable. Like uh, Shiva Dandi Maharaj was telling today that uh, Sudama, Sudama went to Krishna for not for asking wealth, but his wife insisted that every day is literally a kadeshi for us. Because every day we are fasting, children cannot bear the hunger. Your friend, classmate in Sandeep Pani Muni is Guru Pur Sri Krishna in her reach. Why don't you go and get some something from me? So Dama said, "I will not beg, but I will go and see my friend." So she begged some chipped rice from some houses, and the chipped rice also not very high quality. And she gave it to Krishna. She gave it to Sudama. Sudama carried that in a small tattered cloth. He didn't even have good cloth to wrap it up. He wrapped it in some old cloth, and he went to Krishna, and Krishna. Eight one palm full of that chip rice. He was going to eat another palm full of chip rice, but Lukmi stopped him. Then Lukmi told that if he eat another palm full of chip rice, then we'll have to be bad servant of Sudam. By eating one palm full of chip rice, we have given him the wealth of the whole world. And literally, Krishna gave him sixteen thousand one hundred and eight gold palaces. He made him young. Also, his wife did also became young. He was given sixteen thousand one hundred and eight maid servants. He was given huge elephants as gift. Oh. Yamaraj, who writes the destiny of persons, was actually very much perturbed. He said that I see that the destiny of Yamaraj, the records of Yamaraj. Had noted that Sudama must be very very poor for seven lifetimes. He is uh, seven lifetimes. He must be born poor person, not enough to eat or wear clothes. But Krishna has kind of uh, overridden, overridden the sentence of Yamaraj or prophecy of Yamaraj, 
and krishna has rectified that prophecy and he has made uh, sudama super rich so yamaraj wanted to uh, resign from his job he said krishna is transgressing my order i have written that sudama must be born poor for seven lifetimes uh, and his karma is like that and krishna is making him super rich in just one lifetime how this is possible and not that not only krishna made him rich he made him richer than kuvera the treasurer of demigods so um, my brother actually my elder brother he is actually my from previous ashram he in his house sometimes ago he says kuvera yantra he is kuvera yantra huh? one particular um, way to worship kuvera huh? So he worships Kubera. Many people in India worship Kubera. Kubera is a treasurer of uh, Devi gods. He is a half brother of uh, Ravan. In fact, Lanka belonged to Kubera, and Ravan snatched away Lanka from Kubera. So Kubera's father and Ravan's father are one and the same, but their mothers are different. So Kubera is considered the head of Lakshas, and he lives in Alka Puri. That is Golden City, and he had two sons, Nalakuvar and Manipuri, who were chastised by Narad Muni. But Krishna is so powerful that he made Sudama, who was destined to be poor for seven lifetimes, richer than Kubera. Everyone was stunned. So Krishna is so kind to the Brahmanas like Sudama. And another story comes in Braj that how one Brahman was trying to be rich. And he came to Krishna and told, "Give me something very precious." Krishna pondered, "What I should give to this Brahman?" And then he said, "Most precious possession I have is Radha Rani." He said, "I am offering Radha Rani to you. Let she be your daughter, like your daughter." Now that Brahman wanted some wealth so he can marry off his unmarried daughters because in India um, there is uh, marrying a daughter is very difficult because. You have to offer a significant amount of dowry to get daughter married. Uh, Sanya is donated by the father to the groom, but along with the daughter, you have to donate so many things to the bridegroom. So he was worried, how will I marry my daughters? So Krishna offered his most cherished and treasured possession, Radharani, to that Brahman. But Brahman actually began to slap his forehead. He said, "Alas, alas! I already have one or two daughters to marry. I cannot marry them off. Now he is giving Krishna is giving me one more daughter. How will I get her married?" So then Radha Rani said to Krishna that the Brahman is not happy by this charity. I, we should give him another option. That I will sit in the scale of the balance and put the same amount of gold as my weight. And donate that gold to this Brahman. And Krishna did the same, and he donated the gold equivalent of Radharani's weight. And that Brahman was satisfied. But Brahman actually, the Brahmins received much lesser charity because if you had accepted Radharani's charity, then Ananta Koti Vishnu Loka Namra Padma Jarchite, and even Lakshmi Rangri Kamalasa Nakhanchalasa. Lakshmi is also not able to match uh, the beauty and wealth coming from the toenail of Radha Rani. So billions and billions of Lakshmis in billions and billions of Vaikuntha planets combined together are not equivalent to even the ray emanating from the toenail of Radha Rani. That Radha Rani was rejected by this Brahman and instead he accepted the gold equivalent of her weight. Hmm. So it was a really, really um, incorrect decision by the Brahman. But Krishna really loves Brahman. And Krishna is worshipped by the best of the mystics, like um, Sanak, Sanandan, Sanadan, Sanat. They are Yogeshwar. Also, Nava Yogendras. Hmm? Hmm. So Sri Krishna ke dwara apni nitya dhan me gaman atat antar dhan ro aprakat lila me pravesh karne par Sanandan dharma ne kiski sharan di. Sri Krishna entered into his eternal pastimes. Krishna disappeared from this world. It was his disappearance is not like our death. He is like the sun rising on the eastern horizon and setting on the western horizon. The sun 
simply rises and sets on the horizon, uh, both horizons. So like that, here Vaishnava and Krishna also, they simply appear in this world and they disappear from this world. They are no birth and they are no death. It is same with Krishna and also his eternal associates. Like Hanuman, one time Hanuman came to Lord Ramchandra and then Lord Ramchandra told Hanuman that, Hanuman, you will have to stay in this world. You cannot come with me to spiritual sky, Sakyadda, because we want someone to preach the glories of Ram Nam, Ram Bhakti in this material world. So we are going to keep you in this material world, in this Brahmanda. Hanuman said, how will I live without you? But anyways, finally Hanuman said, Oh Lord, if you really want to keep me in this world, give me one benediction. The Lord said, what benediction you want? He said, wherever Ram Katha is going on, I should be able to attend that Ram Katha and hear that Ram Katha. Now, Ram was thinking that he asked a very big benediction. He has said, Oh Lord, give this benediction to Hanuman. He is very dear to me. He is like my son. He is like my son. Oh. So please give that benediction to Hanuman. But Ram told Sita that, How can I give this benediction to Hanuman? You don't know what Hanuman is asking. Actually, Hanuman is asking billions and billions of bodies. Because Harikatha may go on in, say, America, India, Europe, China. South Africa, Luxembourg, and wherever it is, Belgium, and wherever it is. And if anyone is speaking Hari Katha there, Ram Katha, Hanuman will have to go and attend that. Even in Brahma Loka, Tapo Loka, Jana Loka, Mar Loka, Tal, Atal, Vital, Talata, Ras Atal, Prahlad is speaking Ram Katha, or Brahma is speaking Ram Katha, or Kod Kumar is speaking Ram Katha, or Indra is speaking Ram Katha, or Narat Tumburu, they are speaking Ram Katha, Hanuman has to be there. Means he wants the ability to multiply millions of times and attend Harikatha. You don't know what Hanuman is asking. But Sita said, please give him that benediction. So Ram gave that benediction to Hanuman. Now Hanuman, wherever Ram Katha is going on in the world, he is the first one to come and the last one to go. He is always there where Ram Katha is going. And that is how he is so much absorbed in Ram Katha. And we should also have that humility. Many times what happens that if new speaker is speaking, Hari Katha or Bhagavad Katha, Bhagavad Gita, we say, no, no, he's a junior one than me. Why should I hear Hari Katha? But can anyone know Ram Katha better than Hanuman? But even a very recent person, even very young boy, 15 or 20 year old boy, who's much junior to Hanuman, Hanuman is Amar, he's immortal. So still Hanuman has the humility, he'll go and sit down there and hear the Ram Katha. You should be like Hanuman. You may know all the Harikatha, the new person is going to speak. Still, you should listen. I know my Gurudev also. Uh, then he should tell me sometimes, Oh, Sridhar Maharaj, stand up and speak something about this stuff. Sripad Dandi Maharaj, you speak and come. Sripad Vaikhanas Maharaj, you speak and stand up and speak. Sripad Padmanam Maharaj, you stand up and speak. Sripad Nevi Maharaj, Sripad Ashram Maharaj, stand up and speak. And the father Udut Maharaj, oh, stand up and speak. And they used to speak. And Gurudev listens, Sipa Sajjan Maharaj, stand up and speak about this. Sipa Shoti Maharaj, stand up and speak. And then Shamarani Didi, stand up and speak. Umar Didi, stand up and speak. Savita Didi, stand up and speak. And he used to listen very attentively what they are saying. And he used to correct them also. He correct us, correct us also if we made any mistake. And if we spoke something correct and used to clap also. So, Gurudev had that humility. Although much junior disciples and like disciples, but he was so interested in hearing Harikatha even from their mouths. He never used to think that I know everything, so I should not listen from my disciples. Rather, he was engaging us in speaking Harikatha and purifying us by giving us this opportunity. And he used to relish. Uh, like, you know English alphabets, you know apple, bat, cat, and water. But a child is speaking water, milk, 
then we appreciate that small child. Like today, in temple opening, one small girl was there. Her name was Sudevi Das. Now uh, I used to go to her father's house, and father was very, very. She was a small girl. Her name was Sia. Sia means Sita is corrupt for me, Sia. In Uttar Pradesh, they call Sia Ram, not Sita Ram, Sia Ram. So her uh, mother and father used to call her Sia, 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 like this. A small girl. Now she has really grown up, maybe 15 years old, 16 years old. Her father told me, my friend, today my daughter also would like to sing. So I told one Brahmachari, give her a chance also. So she and another uh, friend, so they both sang, the sister, they sang, both and Mara So I relished. I said, oh, the small girls I have seen from childhood, now they are singing, very good singers. So we appreciate that. Eh? We appreciate that. Eh? So it is very nice. Eh? When someone is singing some shlokas, eh? like Shripa Dandi Maharaj, eh? once he was giving class on Prahlad's character. So after giving, completing that book on Prahlad Maharaj, Shripa Dandi Maharaj told his disciples, eh? uh, speak something about Prahlad Maharaj. Then Shivananda Prabhu and uh, Balram Prabhu and all the disciples, small, small boys also, Vivek Prabhu, they all spoke. We appreciated that. It is very nice to hear from this Harikatha. So this ends the it is Srimad Bhagavate. So when Krishna disappeared from this world, whose shelter did Dharma take place? Sanatan Dharma. So where is Sanatan Dharma? So next chapter it will be explained that the Sanatan Dharma took shelter of Srimad Bhagavata. So Srimad Bhagavata is the embodiment of Sanatan Dharma. It is Srimad Bhagavatam Mahapurana. This Srimad Bhagavatam is called Mahapurana, Great Purana. Prabhu Sutra Bhashya. Brahma Sutra Bhashya means this Srimad Bhagavatam is the commentary on Vedanta Sutra or Brahma Sutra. Paramas, Parama Hamsyam Samhita. Samhita means Samyak Rupena Hitam Gitanotiti Samhita, which will bestow complete auspiciousness on the living entity of Samhita. And this is Paramahamsa Samhita, topless, topmost liberated source also. Study this book. Vayasikya. Vayasikya means Sri Shuddhya Goswami, the son of Vyasadeva, uh, he spoke this. Pratamaskanda, the first canto. Nemi Shoyo Pakhyane. Nemi Shoyo Pakhyane. This was spoken in Nemi Sharinya, the forest called Nemi Sharinya. Rishi Prashnanam Pratamudya. The first chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto is called Rishi Prashnanam. The question asked by the sages. Now it is a very, very great golden uh, um, moment in life that I am sitting only two hours from Nemisharani. I am sitting in the physical proximity of uh, Nemisharani and I am speaking Bhagavatam. I am reading Shri Gurudev Bhagavatam. Eh? So um, today is the golden day, golden letter day in the history of Gaudiya Math. Eh? Because um, Today, a new golden, no new Gaudiya Mat was inaugurated here. Fortunately, one Pujari also came from Orissa. He can cook also. Shripa Dandi Mara disciple. So, this one man army now, Ajay Prabhu. He will cook and make offering also and do some artis. Thakurji only two feet height, not very big Thakurji. So, dressing is also easy. And some devotees will join, some Mataj will also come. It's a very prosperous area and business area, business district. Fundraising should not be a problem. Funds will come because Krishna is not a poor man. Krishna is not a bankrupt party. So Krishna is certainly uh, the all opulent. Aishwarya is a samagrasya. So there will be no shortcoming. Shula Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada used to say that don't be afraid of preaching. Don't give up preaching because of financial worries. He used to say that if there is any shortage of money for preaching purposes, I'll bring one brick from Vaikuntha and we'll sell that brick. And that one brick, we can purchase all the wealth in the Brahmanda. All the gold, all the diamonds in the world will be 
able we are going to purchase with one brick from Baikur. Hmm. So uh, there will be never shortage of money for preaching the uh, message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Krishna. Because it is the prophecy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. For Tvitya Achat Nagradi Grama, Sarvatra Prachara Haige Moradam. In every town and village, my name will be preached. Hmm. So the second chapter will begin that letter which time which talks about relationship what is the relationship with bhagwan what is the means of attaining perfection the means of attaining perfection is the devotional service of Sri Krishna. and what is the goal of our life the goal of life is krishna prem so we'll uh, discuss possibly tomorrow if i come back from ayodhya uh, tomorrow on time we can have a six six o'clock class Shiva Dagni Maharaj is flying to Bangalore tomorrow. And I will tomorrow night, I will 11 o'clock, I have a train to um, Madhya Pradesh. I will go to the center of Madhya Pradesh. And I will come to Maharaj Pradesh from Maharaj. And then, slowly, slowly reaching Mumbai, I will return to Pati. So, I will be traveling. I will be in Shara tomorrow. Onwards. Tomorrow, I hope I'll be able to meet the six o'clock. I will go with Krishna. I like Krishna. I will go with 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 Krishna. I will Anyone have any comments or questions? Please let me know. Hey, Krishna Maharaj, none of that promise. Thank okay. you so much. Sorry, Maharaj. Uh, Shrimad Bhagavatam, maybe we will start from tomorrow, please. Tomorrow will be. First canto, second chapter. First canto, second chapter. There will be a um, uh, discussion between Sutta Goswami. So 1.1.2. 1. 1.2. 1. 1. 1. 1. First canto, second chapter. First verse. 1.2. Hey, Krishna Maharaj. Hey, Krishna. Hey, Krishna Maharaj. Done that from Shipad Bhakti Vedanta Vishnu Deity Maharaj Ki Jai Vansha Papati Rugesja. The person who be able to chop it is an unpowered and be Vaishnav. We've been on my Vaishnav. We've been on my Vaishnav. Sorry, I'm not sure why we can't hear Maharaj dear devotees. So we'll end the program now. Ananga Mohan Prabhu Jai Diwani, please. Thank you. Shri Sri Guru Gauranga Gandharupya Giri Dari Rana Vinod Bhaji Ki Jai Nithila Pravishtra Vishnu Parastwata Shashimar Bhakti Vinod Narayan Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Nithila Pravishtra Vishnu Parastwata Shashimar Bhakti Vinod Vaman Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Nithila Pravishtra Vishnu Parastwata Shashimar Bhakti Vinod Swami Maharaj Ki Jai Nithila Pravishtra Vishnu Parastwata Shashimar Bhakti Pragan Keshav Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Nithila Pravishtra Vishnu Parastwata Shashimar Bhakti Santa Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada Ki Jai Nithila Pravishtra Panam Bhagavad Prabhara Shishira Gaur Kisor Das Babaji Maraski, Nitil Provision, Sachi, and a box from Takuji, Nitil Provision, Vishnu, Sarah, Gumashi, Jaganata, Babaji Maraski, she go to Vedanta, she served with the Bush of Provokiji, the Vishnu Chakri Takuji, she and Nartam Shiva Sham, the Prabhu Trajish, and the Rajgos and Provokiji, Supas Nathan Bathamas, she go by Dasuna Sargos and Provokiji, Sup, Tamuda Rayaram, the Daish Gora, Nikiji, Namacharisha, the Stakurkiji, Prince of Koshik and Chetana Prabhuni, and the Shared Vedic Gadar, she was at the Gora Bakta Nikiji, Shanta did my Pusimati, Bodhamudi. Akramatarashi
Thank you so much. Eh? Well announced. If there's any adjustments with time, I think we're hard. Yes. On your side. Thank you. 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 Thank